Welcome back to Phasmophobia. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Anything you could do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. As I talked about last time, I think this time around we're going to go for the 3 out of 3 on Earn Proof Investigation bonuses on Nightmare or Harder. We're going to put a little bit of emphasis on that or harder. This mouse is sucking. One second. Got a hot swap. <clears throat> there we go. This mouse is working a lot better. Um, I think we're going to do this on Insanity. That that sounds like fun. Plus, I like to six times reward multiplier. That's what really makes this worthwhile. Uh, let's pop over here to our fancy smancy shop and put everything in that we want. We have all tier two unlocked now. Well, so that is amazing. Enable this loadout. Make sure it all actually loaded in. It did. Um, let's start off the day on Tanglewood. That seems like it'd be a good one. And of course, Nightmare, you only get one evidence, no spawner. I don't think there's even a grace period, so if the ghost hunts on top of me, I'm just dead. Um, aiming for perfect investigation because that is the, uh, weekly task. Also, that's what gets you a perfect investigation bonus and gets you a lot of money. Uh... Okay, I was brain farted like, oh crap, it didn't want me to do a specific map, did it? <laughs> no, we're good. We got Rose Baker here. We got to do, we got to prevent a hunt with a crucifix, evidence with EMF, and cleanse the area near the ghost using incense. Of course, we don't get an activity or sanity monitor. <clears throat> I got a cough for some reason, probably from working out in the garage. Uh, let's go with video cam, thermo, and well, EMF. And this time around, we have our headlight, which is really awesome. I'm just right now, clicking a bunch of buttons right now because I forgot how to play this game. The first things first, we're going to hunt down the ghost room. I do have voice activation on so the ghost can hear everything that I am saying, which is going to help if the ghost happens to be a yokai. While we're hunting in the ghost room, our goal is also to track down the bone. Uh, just remember, we don't get cursed possessions on here. I also have not been looking at the video cam. No ghost orbs so far. We got a pretty nice hiding spot right there, which is amazing. Let's <clears throat> see. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. Take a look for ghost orbs. <clears throat> Ideally, it's ghost orbs or ultraviolet because then I don't. Oh, there's the bone. Alright, I'll take a mental note of that. It's ghost orbs or ultraviolet because those are pretty much guaranteed forced evidences. I do not have to sit around and wait forever for those evidences. Getting absolutely no activity. I know I'm talking a lot, but I I'm keeping both ears out and I heard nothing this entire time. I do want to keep an eye on my sanity, so we are going to turn on a few lights around here. <coughs> going to have to bear with the cough, unfortunately. And here is it. It's almost never in here. I haven't heard it do anything. Never mind. Oh, uh, what do we got? There's our EMF. Is it in here or did it just move to me? 11. <coughs> 10. I think that counts as one room. Bathroom might be separate though. 11. So for the most part, it's here. Awesome. Uh, let's verify ghost orbs. Not a one. Alrighty. Let's go grab more evidence items. This is uh, looking pretty good so far. Some more lights on so we don't drain our sanity before we're ready. We'd like to at least have our one evidence that we're going to get. <clears throat> um, let's see here. I guess we'll go ahead and grab dots, book, and if it's going to touch some doors on occasion, we'll grab a UV. Hopefully it decides to touch a door while we are in there again. I do need to check the temperature in the living room as well. In case I just reach through the wall. It's in the living room. That's why we do that. Uh, we'll just drop that there for right now. We'll put that book over there. Let's grab this stuff up real quick. Uh, and our video cam. Perfect. Yeah, this is going quite well. Okay, so we'll double check for ghost orbs now. <clears throat> Give 
give me that, give me that, give me that. Ultra violet is what we're gonna get. Awesome. Ah, uh, kind of. We need to keep an eye out for some other. Uh, no, wait, there's no ghost orb, so I don't have to worry about mimic. Awesome, awesome. So. That's pretty much all we're gonna get for evidence items. Uh, what do we have here? We have Hauntu. It's not gonna be that, because that Hauntu requires fr uh, freezing temperatures. Same reason it's not gonna be Gorio. Gorio requires dots as the evidence. There is no ghost orb, so it's not gonna be the mimic. Uh, we do have potential for Obake. And the others don't have a hard required evidence that I'm aware of. So, let's get to work. Um. The Hunts will be able to tell pretty easily if it's going to be a Poltergeist or a Myling. Uh, let's see. I could try to do a smudge test to see if it's going to be a demon, but I should wait to do those till I'm at 0% uh, sanity. Almost for sure. That way, it's most likely to hunt again within a minute 30. Uh, Phantom, I'll pretty much just have to look at it, which I'm likely going to aim to do the first hunt anyway. Uh, Banshee and Myling, we can... Uh, strongly lean towards with a parabolic banshees uh, of course have their I think it's a 20% chance to have their cry from hell and the myline likes to whisper frequently so what do we still need crucifix and incense um let's get the crucif let's get two crucifixes in there right off the bat because we want to listen first try to rule out those two ghosts and then after that uh We'll get in here with our parabolic. Let's get that one there. Get this one up over here. I also need to get in here with the photo cam. Probably get some salt. We'll just go ahead and drop that there for right now. I also want to try to keep an eye on all of the door touches. Because if it is going to be an obake, occasionally it'll just not have a handprint. I think it's a 20-25% chance to just straight up not leaving UV as evidence. So if you ever have a ghost that's intermittently giving you <laughs> handprints on doors, it's probably an Obake. Um, and then, of course, they also have their six-fingered handprint. Speaking of, give me this thing already. Not quite there yet. Oh, we got all those salts down, and it just walked through them. Perfect timing. That's nine salt down. I know where the bone is, so that's all ten photos that we require. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to get a ghost photo if we get an event. Capture a three-star ghost photo is part of our daily task, as long as discover a ghost type, play with another investigator, and find the bone. We're definitely getting the bone this time around. Let's grab this, grab this. Uh, I need to get in there with a the photo cam, so we'll hold off on the parabolic. I already have the other smudge in there, which is beautiful. So I'll take eight photos of the salt. I'll go take a photo and collect the bone. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. We'll go grab that bone real quick before I forget where it is. Nine. Photo should be beautiful right now. Um, crucifix and incense. So this is going decently well so far. I need to keep that camera on me in the meantime for the most part. We're going to go ahead and drop that and that. I'll go grab that uh, parabolic. I think it's the last thing that we need. This is going pretty smoothly. <clears throat> I don't really know what my sanity should be. Uh, Yuri is not an option, so those door touches won't have done anything, I don't believe. We haven't gotten any kind of ghost events, nothing to that nature. The ghost doesn't really seem to teleport, so I feel like I can, can rule out Banshee already. Um, also not very aggressive. It's also not throwing a lot. <laughs> I shouldn't be ruling them out like this, but honestly, we can. So, let's see, what do we want? Uh, I don't think there's anything that we could do that will help us with the rest of these. So let's just grab this parabolic and I guess another smudge because why not? We don't have on Rio on here, so we don't need to worry about getting in fire lights. Let's sit back here and listen with the parabolic, see what we get. 
Honestly, I'm gonna turn off these lights so I can start draining my sanity. It is a banshee. Peculiar. Um, well, I kind of still want that ghost photo. But that would require me to have an event happen. Thing still kind of terrifies me, that scream. I guess I could turn this off. I have these crucifixes up here. It should be doing a decent job. Kind of peculiar we haven't been getting that many ghost events if it is a banshee. I mean, it, it definitely is a banshee with that scream. It also hasn't really been following me around the house, which is also interesting. I just gotta stand here in the dark, drop my sanity. That is the, the one downside to not having cursed possessions, is there's no easy way to drop your sanity. Like at this point, I just have to rely on ghost events, and as you can tell, the ghost isn't doing any. So we're just standing here in the dark, waiting. 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 Quit touching doors and try to kill me already. Oh wait, I could, I could just ask the ghost to show itself too. Uh, yeah, verifying that it's set up for voice activation. This was, who? Rose Baker, show yourself. Rose Baker, show yourself. Rose Baker, show yourself. <coughs> that worked. Rose Baker, show yourself. Gives me about a minute and a half before I can burn up another crucifix. Rose Baker, show yourself. Rose Baker, show yourself. In a way in which I can take a ghost photo. Rose Baker, show yourself. Yeah, throw the writing book around all you like. Rose Baker. It's... Oh, The last second, you dick. I hate this ghost. Everything went so perfectly. I was like, I couldn't see the ghost, but I could see its uh, shadow. I could have got that ghost photo. Man. That ghost sucked. So we're not going to get private investigation. This isn't going to count for our weekly task. Um, Still got the ghost type, got a bone, stuff like that. So things are working well. Plus, we're on Nightmare, so we still get $2,300 and experience. Uh, that was Tanglewood. Let's hop over here to Ridgeview. We'll circle back around to Tanglewood. Probably going to do Tanglewood, Ridgeview, and... Ah... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do Edgefield. What's the other? Willow Street. That's what it is. We got Megan Hans. Uh, ghost event, ghost photo, and motion sensor. Interesting combination. Again, only have one evidence, so... Oh, I also want to take in one of these. So let's get in here. Oh, it's so much nicer having the Tier 2 video cam. I think you can see dots way easier on it, too. Let's get in here grab this real quick. Keep on lookout for ghost orbs while we try to listen for the ghost and also keep a lookout for the bone, which it is right here in the bathroom on the floor. That was easy. I'm still trying to look around occasionally for a cursed position. We got the breaker in here? We do. Nice. I hate going into the basement for those. So one sided with no way out. I like there's a way out in here. No, no hiding in here at all. Haven't tried out the piano spot in a while. I don't know if it still works or not. No hiding in here either. Trying to keep an ear out, but I'm still not hearing anything. Guess I should be walking around with this. Not like I've ever had a ghost be in here as a room. 10, house is still warming up. Almost 11. 12, yep, still warming up. 10. It's 
It's probably upstairs. Almost 12. Probably gonna be a hallway ghost, ain't ya? Seven? Probably a hallway ghost. Damn it. Or at least that's the adjacent room. 12? Maybe that's just the adjacent room. Hiding up here. That's nice. I don't know where that phone was. I guess we'll try to run over there. Want to be careful about wasting up all my stamina. Oh, there's a shoe moved around here. This is the ghost room, isn't it? Yep, four degrees. Okay, well, that works for me. There is that. Uh, let's check real quick for ghost orbs because that'd be really nice, quick, and easy evidence. No hiding. No ghost orbs. You're a dick. You want to touch this door? That'd be great. Let's get out of there. We don't need to lose our sanity right now. We need to at least get our one evidence that it should give us. Get that light on. Rain back to back. I think this is light rain. The other one was heavy rain. So what did we get? We already got ghost event. Uh, so we need photo and motion sensor. So I guess we'll take this up there if the ghost wants to be that active. Then so be it. Still have no idea what my sanity is. Um, if it is a year a maybe with... I don't think that counts as a door touch when it does a ghost event like that. So we should be easily 80%. Ooh, that's a good hiding spot, especially with this being the ghost room. Oh, Jesus. That was hunting. Still in here? I think so. Uh, we'll pause that over there for right now. Don't get this light anymore. That's unfortunate. We'll go ahead. We don't get either of these lights when it does that. Still get that one. There's a plus. Decently active. I mean, I've had Onis that'll give you like three ghost events within five seconds. It's not that active, but I've had a ghost event every time I've been up and near the room. So I'm not entirely sure what to think on this one. Um, we should probably take a crucifix up there pretty quickly. Honestly. Did I already put a motion sensor up there? I, th I thought I saw one missing in the van. Maybe only it ordered three for some reason. Gotta keep an ear out for this thing. Touch the window. I really want to see that. Where's my light? Where's my light? Ultraviolet again. Nice. You know, I think I should be able to prop this up like... Nope. Like... Nope. Ho oh, ho! That is a godsend of a throw. Alright, so we know what we got. Uh, it's basically gonna be like last time. We don't really need these things. Yeah, I just got myself killed there. Um... bit on the slow side. We don't have enough information. I'm just gonna have to guess Steven. Damn. I thought my light was on. I tried to turn it off real quick. Smiling. Well, this isn't going well. <laughs> okay, the first one didn't work because the ghost was a dick and disappeared the frame that I took the photo. Uh, we're back to Untanglewood. Elizabeth Roberts, uh, prevent the ghost with the crucifix, uh, firelight, and repel. Let's try this again. Uh, I'm gonna do our usual few. Let's get in here. Before I think about it, the more I'm realizing that was a very, very tame banshee that I had in the beginning. I don't know if I'm running around with this. I should be running around with this. We could check ghost orbs in the room later. Nine. Eight. Eight. Nine. There's our bone. That's going to be easy enough. There goes a light. Eight. Nine. 
nine, almost ten there. It's throwing stuff in here. Is this the ghost room? Either this or it was somehow in here. There's <laughs> like ten though. Nine. I don't think it's this. This is never the ghost room. Ten. Properly in here. Seven. Okay, yeah, it's dropping in here now. No ghost orbs that are hiding them still. We'll leave that here for now. Let's go. Hope we have an easy breaker. We do not. We'll go get that turned on real quick, though. Now it's doing stuff in here. A lot of stuff, dude. This might be twins. Twins have a lot of evidences. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, pin them down quite easily. Could be a banshee that's making up for what the other banshee did. <laughs> what is it in here? Seven. Kitchen is... Five. Okay. So it just teleported to me in the living room to do the other one. So it's definitely kitchen. Let's go ahead, grab our evidence items, check in there for ghost orbs real quick. I think I only had the three brought in so far. That is a negative right now for ghost orbs. Yeah, 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 you turn on that dirty water. We'll go ahead and toss that in there real quick. Let's go and grab some more stuff. Decently active ghost. I'll probably bring in a photo cam this time around just because I want to get the uh, ghost photo. Could play it safe and not get the ghost photo, but I mean, are you really living then? I'll grab these two in a video or a photo cam. Well, at least we only got windy this time for the weather. Not that it really affects anything in game. Uh, do we have this hiding spot? We do not. That is less than ideal. Decently active ghost, that's for sure. Go ahead, toss this stuff down around here. Check our temperature again. Four, not quite going to be freezing. Still has potential though. Verify that that photo. Okay, that photo turned out good. Grease face fire light repel. Um, it's been decently active and it took me a minute to find it, so we're probably a bit low in the sanity department. Uh, let's go ahead and get a crucifix in there now. I missed the speed run. <laughs> I mean, it was dumb that you only get a one times multiplier, but it was so nice to just move in and out of the house. Alright, I forgot I had this turned on. Go ahead, do this. What door was that and where and when and why? I don't think we're getting ultraviolet this time. Let's try this again. Okay. Didn't want to give me anything immediately on that. Ooh, that was that was a quick one. I don't think our sanity should be that low. Oh, we still need our one evidence items. Those sanity medication kind of suck. So we already got the crucifix. Ah, uh, damn. We don't need anything else evidence item wise. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab a smudge and a candle. And then we'll come back out here and grab the salts. so very active. This hiding space, this is, that's a decent one for myling test. Let's go ahead and get a lot of these lights on. We need to maintain our sanity. Thank you, that's, that's not annoying at all. So we're going to toss you right next to that candle there. I mean, at this point, we're just standing around waiting for nothing. So let's check our term temperatures. Temperature, temperature. Uh, empty inventory. Let's bring in all of those salts. Get those placed down in there. Um, 
What's next in here? We got a photo game in there. Still don't have our evidence. We just are only getting one evidence. This is a decently active ghost. I'm thinking Oni shouldn't be there. I've been in the ghost long enough. That was my ear holes. Thank you very much. Toss that over there. Um, I guess I should hold this on me. This did get blown out at least once so far. Uh, I wish I had the photo cam on me. There's the salts. Go ahead and put this out myself for the moment. I guess I'll grab that just in case. Yeah, you're just throwing everything around, aren't you? I haven't quite had a polter explosion or anything to that nature yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that. Uh, let's check this real quick. Ghost should be able to hunt any second now if it wanted to. Not freezing yet. I'm going to run out here, grab another crucifix. I want to get the first evidence item before we get our first hunt. That way I get, it'll help me narrow down the ghost. Unless it's going to be something obvious, but it's not even being something obvious right now. <laughs> uh, let me check the uh, dots real quick. Still no ghost orbs. Still decently active. Uh, definitely not a shade or anything like that. No, no shy ghost. What was this one? Elizabeth Roberts. I don't really do a lot when I'm not in the room. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't seem to be giving me dots as an adult ghost, so I don't have to worry about the dots being too high up and not getting the uh, ghost. Well, I don't think this is going to be a Goryo. I mean, it hasn't moved rooms, but for the amount of activity, I doubt it's going to be a Goryo. I do still kind of need a bit more uh, door touches. I might have just missed getting the UV on the one. Oh, what do we still need? We need fire light, we just need to repel it. Scroll down from crucifix to get to my smudge. That's not gonna be annoying. I'm gonna go to turn that off, we're just gonna start hunting, isn't it? Oh, got that. There we go. Let's get those guys turned on. Let's go shut this off. It's apparently decided to reach through the wall. I have all of the photos. Those are good to go. Now we just gotta get the ghost type. I say it, so that's gonna be an easy task. It's done nothing akin to a polter explosion. It's still the ghost room. Um, I don't think so. So the ghost room has definitely moved. Uh, I'll definitely have a few seconds to run in here and try to see if we can get the ghost. It's going to be hard to uh, get the spirit box from this one, I feel like. Oh, it's doing another event. Yeah, it's going to hunt any second. Damn. The hell is this ghost? I don't really want 
to start wasting a smudge stick on it just yet. Hmm. Definitely could have hunted by now. Trying to rule out some of them while it's doing that. Still have no idea. I don't think that's a bolter. It should have cleared off a lot more stuff. I mean, there's not a lot on here anymore, but not just in here, but also in the garage where it's hunting from. Some moves around, not a lot. Finally blew that out. It's not giving me EMF 5, that's without a doubt. It's also not giving me door touches or anything useful. Didn't want to give me spirit box. Could go double check, but I don't think I'm getting ghost orbs. There's the door touch. I just need to see it this time. That was a hell of a throw. Saw it transform into an Obake, and we're still not getting the ultraviolet. It, it touched the door, lured me in with the fucking UV, and then immediately started hunting like a dick. Oh, I don't think that's a myelin. I got everything complete except for the ghost type now. Jesus. I don't think that's a myelin. It got decently quiet, but I don't think that was a myelin quiet. It is rather active. Oh, that's because of the event. I was about to say Oni, but clearly it's not an Oni. Still needed to do some, uh, or door touches. Threw some stuff hard, but I don't think this is Poltergeist. I'll try to get this set up. Hard to do a Pulti test if you don't have stuff to do a Pulti test with. It's a half decent pulty pile. There we go. Standing this time, please. Uh, good enough. I mean, you're throwing hard, but you're not throwing enough, and I cannot walk you. Almost. Now you're starting to pick up speed, and you doubled back. Frick. Not a Maroi. You would have been stunned longer. Ah, what is this ghost? Has it speeds out with line of sight, so turning off the breaker is not going to help me determine if it's a haunt. It's stepped in salt, so we know it's not a wraith. Um, hasn't turned off the breaker yet. I do tend to have a lot of light. It's not an Oni because of that one we had. The other one only really hunted with me in the room, but it has done events. Ah, oh, let's see. Could be a spirit. I need to do a proper test for that one. 
I don't think it's a Polter. It was not throwing it off. Polter would have been obvious. And it should have, if it was a little Baki, it should have done something there. We can go try to check the garage for orbs, but I don't think it's going to be a Mimic. It was in that room for a while before it left. Didn't really speed up with all the electronics I have right there. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a Mylene. We could try to do another on Rio test. It's not going to be easy, but we could try. At this point, I do need it to. Hasn't really done anything mare like. Let's get in here and get some lights on. See what that does. I also want to set that up in there. Let's grab the crucifix and put it in there. That one's going to be a little bit harder because uh, the garage is so massive. Ghost can just wander. I uh, guess we should also actually verify the ghost is still in there. Better be after all this. Still got cold breath. Negative. Oh, we got freezing temps. Okay. Uh, Yuri Jin on Rio. Kind of. Hopefully. I mean, some of those I just did. Uh, did just put this out one. Just turn off that light. Oh, that's for a ghost event. I need to make sure I have my, uh, lighter extinguished. Not actively trying to put out the candle. Trying to turn it off and on once in a while. That way it has the ability to uh, do the mirror thing and flick it off. Burn that up. Did not put out the candle first. It also has yet to actually turn off the breaker. Problem is I don't have enough runway for a uh, gin test. What's the other one? Yure? That'll be a pain in the dick to find out. It needs to fully open or close the door. at the gym. I think you guys could hear those footsteps. That thing sped up. I wasn't like revving at speed, but that was about ride you maybe. I think you need to be more than seven meters away for it to actually do it, so walking backwards, especially backwards down the stairs, really helps. If it's not a gin, I have no idea what it's going to be, honestly. I could have tried turning off the breaker and then doing that again to see what happens. I think the gin is also the only ghost I can turn on the breaker. But we're going to stick with our knowledge and just work with that. So finally, we got one. Let's actually verify. I, I always just instinctively hit skip and go. Yeah, we finally got one on Tanglewood. Ugh, that was a pain. Let's go to Ridgeview. And the step of the difficulty. It's only more difficult because there's an upstairs. Alright, let's grab our Yule Trio. It's snowing, which is going to make this uh, a little bit painful. Because all the rooms are already going to be cold. And every time it turns off the breaker, every room is going to be nearly freezing. So first things first, we need to get to the breaker and get that turned on. Not getting lucky with the bone spawn today. Got lucky with one of the hiding spaces. 
not getting lucky with the breaker spawn today. I'm just trying to speed things along quickly. We don't want to get the ghost too long. Especially if it ends up being a demon. Wrong way. There we go. This one sucks because it's a normal size house, but there's three spawn locations for the breaker. Thankfully, two of them are in the basement. I have no idea where a bone can be in this house. Or in the basement, anyway. Most of the rooms are straightforward. Ooh, I think I just heard something. This is the kitchen. Six. Oh, also six. Damn. Oh, it's in here. I see a shoe messed up and everything. Three degrees. Awesome. Straightforward. I like it. Not seeing ghost orbs at this moment. Tossing a lot of shoes around. Like it. Uh, I don't think it's done anything with the door yet, so we're going to go ahead and start grabbing our other evidence items. And I should remember to grab that. There we go. Cool. Nice, easy, straightforward to get to. Uh, should check the closet, see if there is a hiding space. I know I don't really have one otherwise. Uh, firelight, incense, and photo. Let's go ahead and grab the... We'll grab a uh, photo cam just in case it gives us a, decides to give us a ghost event right off the bat. Now we can get that ghost photo straight away. Yeah, this one's stacking up to be pretty nice and easy. I wonder how I'm going to screw it up. Don't you fucking dare. It's usually as soon as I drop that photo cam that it's like, and here's the ghost event that you wanted. <laughs> uh, I just need EMF and spirit box in there now. Let's go ahead and get this set up and over here. Should be nice and easy. Grab these two. We'll go ahead and grab our crucifix. What am I? Oh, jeez. I was clicking the button. It wouldn't give me the crucifix. <sighs> The reason the other one is so painful is because it took me or it took the ghost so long just to get me freezing temps. Nice part about this one is if it decides to move ghost rooms, it's it's probably going to go to like the kitchen, which is not that bad. There's that, there's that. Grab me this. I think I just heard it touch a window. I'm gonna assume not though. I'm gonna just walk in here. Oop, there's a door touch. There's another door touch. Both door touches, uh, negative on ultraviolet. Both level twos. I'll we'll actually leave that for the most part right there. Okay, so probably not going to be ultraviolet then. Child. That's not going to be the most fun thing. Fortunately, I missed out on my ghost event to take the photo of. That was a window. Okay, we're not gonna get ultraviolet. Uh, it's a bummer. Straightforward though, like it. There's our ghost photo. Please tell me that was good. Oh, thank God. Imagine I messed that up straight off the bat. So we're gonna drop that so I don't accidentally take a photo. Negative. We already got our freezing temperatures. Uh, no ghost orbs, so we don't need to worry about the mimic. Let's hop out of here right now and go start figuring some stuff out what do we want to do no mimic uh hantu has potential maria requires spirit box does it, i don't know that maria requires spirit box i know the maria can curse you with the spirit box usually if a ghost has a thing with an evidence item uh requires that evidence item like the diogen requires spirit box because it can give you the diogen response which is the uh whisper or the hay but through the spirit box <laughs> Still need to get a firelight and cleanse the area with an incense. Um, it's been decently active. I have not had a puffball yet, so we can't rule much out. Revenant will be straightforward. 
Moroi might be straightforward as well. We need to get a firelight in there. And our incense. Uh, we'll get this stuff in there set up and then we'll come out here and grab the... Uh, oh, firelight could also be an unreal. We'll come out here and grab the salt for photos. As long as I haven't found the bone, have I? It's probably upstairs. Reach through here to turn on the sink. Hopefully it only reached. Let's toss this stuff down real quick. Hop out of here. Uh, so yeah, we still need to get the salt. We still need to track down the bone. Likely going to be upstairs. Uh, what else do we need to do then? I don't think... I mean... Find out the ghost type, but that's... That's it. Oreo's not even an option, so I don't need to worry about it. Just blew up a candle. Get back in there, relight that real quick. That kind of room, I think that the candle will be uh, decent enough coverage. This made the sound of blowing out something. We don't need this on anymore. Or that. Oh, there's that. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. What else do we need then? Two more photos, one's bone, one could be the dirty water. I guess I'll go track down that bone real quick. At least I'm not sure if it did. Alright, let's do that. And we also have a fancy smancy headlight. We still got our smudge on us, which is awesome. Oh, well that was straightforward. That's all photos complete. Easy peasy. Just burned out the crucifix. This might be an unreal if that candle's out. It is. It just put out the candle, too. We'll go ahead and turn this on. Let's try to run this back. I also need to remember to turn my lighter off because that counts as a fire source or fire light. Uh, what do we need for this? Cleanse the area? I'll be straightforward. Scroll down from lighter to get to my th uh, smudge. Run through the photos real quick. Everything is good to go. It's not too keen and I'm just realizing I don't have cold breath in here. Oh, there we go. That was pretty immediate. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's still in here. Yeah, it's, it's very much still in here. All right. Let's make sure we have this turned off so we don't inadvertently get ourselves killed. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the other crucifix, and unfortunately I can only bring that back. I wish you could pick up the candles that are already in the house. We're going to get in here with this. Uh, we'll keep going with that one candle, and we'll see what happens. Honestly, a hunt will also bring. Oh, it's still on. Interesting. There's one, two, three. That was a lot of back to back blowing stood out. Am I missing something, or is it just not wanting to hunt now? Four. Yeah, go screw yourself. Blow a candle out and try to hunt at the same time. Specifically in that order.
Well, that was also an air ball, so it's definitely not an Oni. That helps. Uh, didn't hunt with me in the... I tried a couple times. It's not a shade. Uh, I'm not a Maroi. It would have got stunned longer by the smudge. I was trying to count that silently. Uh, definitely not a Revenant. I didn't notice if it sped up with the line of sight, unfortunately. I'll have to test that again, and I did not set my timer for that smudge, unfortunately. Um... Might be an on rail. It definitely hunted outside of the range of the crucifix, so certainly outside of the range of the firelight. So let's get back in there with these two. We want to remain with our very low sanity. That'll help us determine what it is quicker. Basically, I just don't want to sit out here for four hours waiting. There we go. And of course, it's blown out that light. Yeah, quit touching windows. I don't give a shit. <gasps> don't care about that either. Just blow out the fucking candle. That's nice of you. One. Two. Uh, it's definitely like three or four right there. Just blew out my uh, lighter. It's very active about turning these off. That's the interesting thing. But it's not blowing it out three times and then immediately trying to uh, hunt. That was my ear holes. Basically, I'm looking for the crucifix to get burned up without the candle being extinguished. Or for the candle to be extinguished and then the crucifix to immediately be burnt up. I could also just try to test for other ghosts. I think that the breaker has been turned off, so if it is going to be a haunt too, I will be able to... That was very Unreal-esque. Alright, let me grab this and run out of here. Finally got one that was like an Unreal. We're fine, yeah, okay. We do have our bone and everything like that. Um, this would be a bad gen test because the breaker's off, but we need the test for Hanshu as well. I haven't heard anything like a Yure right now. Our suggestion is Unreal. Ghost event? Oh, ghost event. Why did you move in here to do that? You dick. I'd call that banshee like. Hmm. Now we gotta wait a few seconds. Got my timer ready to go. Not getting cold breath in here, so it didn't make distance ghost room. What do we have on the menu? Demon, Yuri, Hantu, Unreal, Jin, and Twins. Sped up a little bit, not very much though.
I think that was uh, too in between for it to be the twins. Also, the lack of activity. Uh, too slow to be a demon. Demon would have been a lot faster than that. I feel like it would have been a lot faster anyway. Uh, I could turn the breaker on and then try to do a gin test. That would be my next biscuit. I did entirely forget to smudge it. Oh, it feels like it's a really early hunt that I might have to recant what I said about demon. Let's get down here and get this turned back on. Turn this on for the time being so we can actually see. Yeah, earlier when that knife fell in front of the refrigerator, I was like, oh shit, it's gonna kill me now. Definitely not an Oni. Go ahead and get at least one light on because it broke the other. I'm already insane. What more do you want? Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Alright. No speed up there. I'm starting to feel like this is actually an unreal. Got my timer set. I'm just gonna pretty much wait around. Uh, definitely thoroughly insane. It's about 10 seconds off. So we have 20 seconds until it can hunt. If it's a demon. Ten seconds. I'm gonna get in my hiding spot quick and if it's demon it can hunt of course steam is between a minute and a minute and a half everything can hunt at a minute and a half except for spirit which will be at three minutes but he's not even on the menu yeah it did not speed up at all when it had uh, that line of sight from more than seven meters away so I'm thinking it's between Yuri and Onryo Now anything can hunt. I think that's my cue to run out the door. Made it. Okay. No, I guess it shouldn't have been a gin because it turned off the breaker all that time ago. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oops. I thought there was a couple of you screaming at the monitor right there. Alrighty. Um, I'm not going to be able to get anything useful out of this. Ah, uh, crucifix is completely burnt up. I think we just have to go with Onreal. It was very active at burning out the firelights. I didn't hear a single double door touch, so if that was supposed to be a Yure, there was no way I was going to get it. Thank God. Tier 3 UV unlock. Nice. Still going with what I said before. I'm not going to use any tier 3 until I unlock all tier 3, including the uh, smaller items such as photo cam or motion sensors, stuff like that. The support items. Let's get into Willow Street and let's finish this thing out. Please just give me a nice and fun and easy ghost game. What I got to do for you to give me a revenant? Daily tasks are pretty much complete. Just gonna do this one more time. Ah, uh, we're not getting cursed, but let's just we're not doing that at all. In this escape to ghost during hunt, firelight, and ghost event. Fun, fun. Grab you old trio. That is pretty much the trio I grab when I'm doing uh, single player. When I'm doing multiplayer, it's uh, video cam, dots, and book. You can use the video cam as a light source. Also, while looking for ghost orbs, and then once I find the ghost room or somebody else does. Uh, put down the dots in the book immediately because it takes time for those evidence to come to fruition Nice breaker placement. This means I'm probably going to die like four times in a row and then when I finally get to ghost It's gonna be when the breakers in the basement 
usually how this works out. There's our bone right off the bat. That's nice and easy. Haven't gotten ghost orbs at all throughout this, which has been nice to not have to worry about a mimic. I hear something in here. Let me check this real quick. Nine. Eleven. Well, maybe it wasn't there. Eleven. Verify it's eleven in here. Almost twelve. Ten. And what is it in here? Eleven. Okay. Everything's just warming up still. Twelve now. That or this ghost is just Usain Bolt. Really good at hopscotch. Ten. Five-ish. Eleven, definitely not the garage. Nine. That's a bit too warm still. Probably in the basement. Of course it's in the basement. Why wouldn't it be in the basement? I don't think this counts as basement, does it? Nine and then tennis. Tennis. What's in here? Oh. Well, this is straight up active in here. But the temperature didn't show that. Oh, hallway. And then ice cold. Ghost orbs. I just had to talk about ghost orbs, didn't I? Elsa touched this door a lot, didn't you? Okay. Guess we'll just toss that right there for now. Let's hop up here and uh, start bringing on evidence items. Again, straight active ghost, so not sure what that's going to mean. We got ghost orbs right off the bat, so we need to keep an eye out for freezing, ultraviolet, and spirit box, but we will mark down ghost orbs for the moment. Uh, so that's pretty much the only evidence items I need to take down there, so we already have the thermos, so and we already have ultraviolet, so we just need spirit box. Uh, aside from that, we'll take down photo cam. And crucifix. And Banshee is a possibility. It is the only one that really requires, or not requires, but can use the assistance of the parabolic in order to identify it. What time is it? I'm gonna get outside later today and work on the Mazda. Go ahead, grab this bone real quick. Should verify if we have any kind of hiding spaces down here. I'm thinking we kind of don't. Oh, we do. That's nice. Put that down. We'll toss that in there real quick. Verify the ghost is still in here. Yes, it is. Uh, let's try a spirit box real quick. This ghost seems to be active. Didn't get anything on that. Okay, easy enough. That was quick. Um, what should have been that quick? Nothing. Nothing should have been that quick. Demon, maybe. Ah, uh, that's that's interesting. What was that that killed me before? Is that hunted quick too? I guess it wasn't a dark hair, but it uh, uh, should only be like maybe 70% sanity. On one hand, I wish I knew what sanity certain ghosts hunted at. On the other hand, I don't really want to go and look up a tutorial on this stuff. <laughs> kind of feels like it ruins the fun. I don't want to go being a super nerd. Alright. Um, escape and firelight. We don't really need anything else, so we'll grab this, this, and this. We do need to get salt down there, but apparently the ghost is eager to get me killed. So I'll get this stuff down there. Light the, uh, firelight. We're not gonna... Oh, we do still have to worry about an Unreal. God damn it, I hate the Unreal. The test never goes smooth for me. Wait, why is this light off? I turned this light on, didn't I? 
Oh. Hell's this ghost? Oh, it's done. We sounded like it was a bit faster at the beginning downstairs. It might be a haunt you. But we have no, we have ghost orbs. I guess we really need to verify uh our other evidences. We might have a mimic on our hands. There's that. Uh, let's verify this door too. So, let's just suddenly decided to mimic an obake. That doesn't seem to be what's going on. Where's it at now? 14, still 8 in here. Let's blew that out. That's nice. 6. Okay, I guess it's still the ghost room. And the ghost is in here. Hmm. Decently active. Be able to hunt again in a second. I should uh, hide. Let's try to see what we can see. Why would it have been fast? Hey. Yeah, it would have slowed down in my presence, maybe. Or ride you. Ride you makes sense. Fuck off, dick. We'll have to listen to it again. It is incredibly act active in there. Ah, go screw yourself. Okay, that works for me. Um, so at this point, we just need to get salt and it doesn't even need to be here. So let's go ahead and grab our photo cam. Get this upstairs. Uh, we'll just leave this right up here at the top, which is where we're going to put our salt down in order to get our photos. Oh, trip to breaker. That dick. The only real downside to all this is I don't have a good hiding spot. There we go. Should open the door first, probably, but oh well. This is stacking up to be pretty good. That's definitely a Raiju. There is no other evidence. If this is somehow a mimic mimicking a Raiju, that's gonna really suck, but uh, I tested. There's definitely no uh, fingerprints. And it's been a Raiju a couple times in a row. I've tested for Spirit Box, and it did not give that to me. And the same thing for Freezing Timps. So basically, I'm just trying to cope with the fact that it's going to be a mimic, and it did everything that I could. <laughs> Sad to say. Oh, if this starts hunting, I don't know where I could possibly go. So we're going to get this down quick. There we go. Yeah, they're very active rides you too. That's a bit surprising. Oh, there we go.
Ooh, smudged it just in time there. All right, now that we have the breaker on, I can turn on that, grab this, one. Please tell me that actually took a good photo. Yes, it did, two, three, four, five. That's all the photos we need. Let's go. We'll verify everything once we get out of the house, too, but, uh, I should have counted as escape. That did not count as escaping the ghost train hunt. That dick. Well, at least we still have more smudge sticks. And all the photos turned out good. Uh, if we have two smudge sticks, I'll just take both of them in honest. Oh, we have three. Even better. Only needed one crucifix throughout this. Every the game of this worked right and counted that as me escaping the hunt, because it definitely had line of sight before it ended. Then we'd be set right now. Let's try to get a few lights on. There we go. And now we just, oh, wait, yeah, we gotta wait for a minute now because I smudged it. Drink. A little bit of wake up juice. Well, this one took a while today. But you guys like to say you like the longer videos, and I haven't had anybody complain that the videos are too long. So we're gonna keep doing them like this. Until somebody says otherwise, probably, because the only uh, feedback I have is from comments. <laughs> Speaking of, if there's any other games you guys want to see me play, let me know. What, what would you enjoy? Oh, that dick. <laughs> Go ahead and turn this on for the time being. Um, I mean, from the views and lack of interactions I could tell you guys weren't too keen on Metroid but I already recorded me playing through the entirety of Prime 1 so you're just gonna get that every Friday for I think the rest of this month and maybe the first Friday of April I'll have to look at that but if you did like that let me know and I'll play Prime 2 oop here we go Okay, that was a short hunt. That works for me. Well, all I gotta do is get out of here finally. Also, as I go through and learn the YouTube algorithm, which some people say, oh, the algorithm is basically just the audience. No, there's a bit more finesse to it. People can look or watch my content and enjoy it, and it still won't get pushed out and recommended for more people to watch and enjoy. I think that what is required is interactions of any kind, so definitely like and comment. <laughs> Puts it out to more people, makes me feel better, I can put out better content. Welcome back. Then it goes out to even more people. Ooh, three grand and the tier three lighter. Hell to the yeah. Alright, because I finished Welcome out the back. task. Anyway, weekly task, got that complete. We still got a few more to aim for, but those are going to go rather quickly as well. Um, I'm probably not going to work towards my daily tasks anymore. Let's hop over here and take a look at the shop. We can afford, and oh, we can always afford uh, everything. No, actually, we still have a lot of tier 3 equipment in lock, which is, includes dots. Uh, video cam, can hardly tell what that was, writing book, and thermometer. Not exactly sure what the difference between the tier 3 and tier 2 is. Oh, it's an accuracy. And what is this? Sample speed. Oh, okay. So, the sample speed for this one's low because it's instant because it changes as soon as you get in there, but the accuracy is low, so you can have freezing temps for a while before you realize it's actually going to be freezing. This one, the accuracy... Oh no, the accuracy is high with this one. That's a bit peculiar. Considering you're actually holding it, I would assume that the accuracy would be lower with that. Interesting. But, what is it? It takes a while for it to uh, tell you 
And then of course these are electronics, but the sample speed's a bit quicker and the accuracy is considerably lower. And then the accuracy is about medium, sample speed is way quicker, and of course still counts as electronic. What is this image quality? Or normal resistance medium? What? This is supposed to be how much it flickers. All of these have night vision. I don't see what the purpose of putting that on there is. Anyway, then what's this? Interaction rate and range. Interesting. These are some cool little things that, uh... Oh yeah, this also gives you the direction and whatnot. Just cool little details that are a lot more easily understood than, uh, previously. Oh, uh, what do we got down here? Of course, we need to get up to 90. We can only, or we only unlock the tier 3 lighter, which is pretty sad. Um, also, I'm not sure. Oh, the uh, campground maps. That's where that's really helpful on bad weather. I was going to say, there's not really much of a difference between having that one at the tier 2. Oh. Consumable. This is an infinite. It only lasts for five minutes. I never even knew that because I guess I don't really use it that often. Duration 10 seconds. Each match lasts a second. 10 matches. Okay. What is this then? Consumable. Slows the ghost. Blinds the ghost. Lasts six seconds. Range four meters. Obviously these are consumable. But why does this not say it's consumable? Can you reuse the tier 3 incense? These are questions we will soon have answers to. And by soon, I mean I'm level 57 and I need to be level 90 before I've uh, fulfilled my vow and I'm <laughs> capable of using any of that. Uh, anyway, thanks you guys for coming along for the ride. If you could like, comment, or subscribe, I would appreciate it. Anything you could do for the channel helps me put more back into the channel for you. That being said, I will see you next time. Have a good one.